this video was made possible by the lovely people over on my Patreon. If you're interested in supporting the channel or you want to get your hands on some awesome high quality STLs, then please visit patreon.com forward slash will at heroic studios. What's going on folks, Will at Heroic Studios here and today I'm going to walk you through the steps at maintaining and cleaning your Inucubic Wash and Cure mat. This is a very delicate piece of equipment and unlike previous Wash and Cure stations, this one takes a little bit more TLC to maintain and keep clean and to keep working up to par. So I'm going to take you through each and every step on how to keep this thing clean, how to keep it working right, and how to maintain everything so that every time you use it, your prints come out just as immaculate as the first time you use this that for. All right, I'm gonna take you right through it. Let's get into it. So every few uses or so, this machine needs to be cleaned, especially on the inside. You can see a lot of sediment, a lot of cure on the resin. So I'm gonna take you through the steps necessary to actually go ahead and clean this up. So the first thing you wanna do is grab those filters right here. Let me grab them for you. As you can see, they're full of debris and resin from prints that might have fallen off. So these are very important because they actually allow the water to kind of ventilate out, flow out. So you want to make sure that you do keep these things clean. Fill up a little tray of IPA and use a little toothbrush here to scrub them out. Next, you want to go ahead and remove this black rotor here. Reason being is that a lot of resin, when it cures, it kind of settles on this thing and you don't want it to get jammed up to where your basket doesn't rotate anymore. So remove this part here and pull out the rotor. Using an Allen wrench, just go ahead and then screw this bolt right here and pull out the rotor. So it's very dirty, has resin on it, this gross. You want to make sure that you're cleaning all your parts, use some IPA, take your toothbrush, and just scrub on up. Before you reinstall your rotor, make sure that you do clean all the resin that was underneath here prior to that. So take your toothbrush, get in there and scrub, and then just simply wipe it out with a rag. Next up, you want to remove your containers, both on your IPA and on your water, and clean out the filters that are in there. Again, this filter filters most of it with the basket, but not everything gets filtered through. So it does kind of escape, goes through the system, and ends up in here. So in order for this to work right, you need to make sure that you are cleaning out your filters periodically. So make sure there's a little, you can't really see it, but there's a little uh, fishnet in there. You want to make sure that that does not have any obstructions in it. So just take your toothbrush, sort of kind of scrub it out, make sure there's no debris in there. There we go. 
and do the same thing for your water bucket. So if you look inside your water bucket, you're going to see a lot of debris that's going on in here. That's because a lot of the resin, uh, the water gets pushed into the system, into the drum, and then it gets pumped that back in here. And a lot of that resin uh, gets stuck in here. So you can't really get in there and clean. I mean, you could if you bought like a toilet wand. But what I normally do is I pour a little bit of IPA in there, shake it up, let it disintegrate the resin, and then go ahead and pour that IPA out. It, it does a really good job of cleaning out all the resin that's stuck on the walls, that's stuck on those two uh, prongs right there, as well as everything else. So just a little bit of IPA, you don't need to fill it up, just a little bit, shake it up, let it sit, shake it up some more, and then pour out the IPA. So I got my toothbrush in there and did as much of the sides as I possibly could. You can see the dirty IPA just kind of chilling out in the corner. Swish it around some more. Make sure you try to get everything. And use the little toothbrush, like I said, to get in there and kind of get little nooks and crannies. I know it's not big enough to get in there all the way, but if you want, yes, you can fill it up, let the IPA do its job, and then dump it. That's up to you, though. That's a lot of IPA. Now that this is all clean, what you want to do is now fill it up with water because the next step is cleaning out the drum. Fill your container up with water, throw it in the drum, use a little scrub brush to scrub all the sides to get all the residue resin off, and then uh, you're going to purge the system and that's going to clean out your pipes and it's going to keep your, your drum pretty clean. But make sure that your waste bucket is empty so you would need to dispose of whatever is in here first. Use clean water, not what's in here and um, go ahead and clean out your drum. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So a lot of people always ask me, well, what do you do with your wastewater? Like, you just can't pour it down a drain. No, you can't. I know in the instruction it says, put it out in the sun, let it cure, and then dispose of the water. But what I do is I keep my old resin bottles here, and I just fill this up into these bottles. And next thing, every town has this, every city has it, you want to take all of your waste bottles over to the waste management and it'll accept it. So this is all IPA waste, water waste. Everything is full in these bottles here. And I just haul them into my car, take them down to the waste management, which is down the street from my house, and they take them. So that's how you would dispose of them. Two birds, one stone. You keep your washing cure with fresh water. You get rid of your old resin bottles because you're not supposed to throw those away because they're still uncured resin in it and at the same time you're able to get the trash out of your workspace area so save your resin bottles throw your dirty water into there put them in a box throw them over into the waste management really easy really simple there you go so once you've cleared out your wastewater you're going to see that there's a lot of sediments in there resin you want to clean that out because that does when you pour back into your drum it does get cycled back into the system. So take some IPA, throw it in there, let the resin loosen up, take a rag and kind of get in there and wipe all that out. If some is kind of cured to the bottom, uh, use a little plastic scrub tool, a little plastic removal tool. We all have them. You know, they come with pretty much every printer. I don't have one next to me right now, but you know what I'm talking about. And just kind of slowly start scraping off all the sediments that might be uh, stuck to the surface there. But make sure you do good, do a good job of cleaning this all out. You don't want sediments coming back and being reintroduced to your system. So now that's cleaner. We're gonna fill this up with water and throw it in the drum, this guy right here. And we're gonna go ahead and let it do a purge of the cycle. We need to clean all the residue that's on the walls and on the bottom of the drum to make sure this thing is good. Make sure you did, you do put back in your strainer because you are gonna need that in case um, you don't want any of the loose sediments getting in there. We are gonna to have to clean out this uh, string. All right, so we have water here. We need to go ahead and scrub it out. But before you do that, the tube that is normally in this bucket might be a little gross and sticky. So you might wanna take some IPA spray it and wipe it down. You don't wanna get any type of nastiness in here. As I was saying, there's a lot of goopiness on this tube, and you want to make sure you clean that off. So spray it with some IPA. All right, now that we got our water in there, make sure uh, you're using either a toothbrush or plastic scraper tool and just lightly go around your machine, trying to get off all the 
dirt and grime that might have cured on there. Make sure your strainers are in there. Make sure nothing is being forgotten about, I guess. Make sure you get the bottom, just rub that water. Rub it, get all the debris, get everything out. Make sure you get everything, as much as you can. This is some delicate equipment, so making sure that it all works up to par means you have to clean it every so often, after just a few uses actually. Now, if you have a bigger brush, go for it, but not a stiff brush, alright? That's good enough for me, everything looks okay. Alright, so we close our lid, hit the reset button, hold it for three seconds, and it's going to flush out all of that wastewater into this bucket. And depending on how dirty it was, my water was kind of clean, you can go ahead and reuse that water, placing it back into your drum. That is some pretty clear water you got there. That's how you know you have a clean system. It's when there's literally no debris in there. Now, there will be some debris that will be left over in your drum. Just take a rag, clean all that out, dry it up, get it manually, and make sure you do dry your edges and so on and so forth. Last but not least, remove your strainers one more time. Clean those out with your toothbrush and IPA and put it back in there, and then you're done. Pretty, pretty, pretty lengthy tutorial on how to clean this thing. Keep it clean, because this is, this is some expensive equipment. One major thing before I let you guys go, this basket needs to be cleaned as well. However, if you maintain a clean water bucket, then this basket will remain okay. Now, if there's a lot of resin, if you reuse this water more than once, what's gonna happen is that eventually, the resin that's in there is gonna get cured onto here. And every time you were to cure anything, that leftover resin is gonna to stick to your prints and then you have to sand it, you have to post process it, you don't want that. So make sure you are using clean water. Now, if you're just figuring this out and your basket is all gross, you need to do a cleaning of this thing just like we did before. Take your toothbrush, spray it with some IPA and scrub every single inch of this thing. The last thing you need is leftover resin on here, damaging your prints and being cured to this thing after you spent however many hours printing a statue or, or a prop or anything like that. So make sure that this basket is clean. I didn't mind cleaning it because mine's has been clean and it's always going to stay clean. But if you are reusing this water more than once, resin will build up on there and it's going to start to stick on here and then your IPA is going to start to show. Also, 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 make sure your IPA levels is higher than your water levels because if the water levels are higher, again, you're going to have some sediment, debris, left over resin in there, and it's going to end up showing on your prints in the form of residue lines and leftover material that you don't want on there. So make sure your IPA levels are good. Make sure you're changing out this water maybe after three or four uses. Okay? Okay. Now, that's it. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions on how to maintain this beautiful piece of art, let me know in the comments. If you clean it a different way and maybe found something that I did wrong or could do better, let me know in the comments. As always, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, special shout out to my patrons. If you guys are looking to get some cool STLs or you just want to support the channel, check out my Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash real life world studio. Until next time, folks, enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you next time.